Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. If you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a ride review on the Smiler located at Alton Towers in Staffordshire, England. Before we start this video, I would like to point out that uh, you see in the bottom left where the credit is, it is actually someone called Theme Park Global, it's not called Thrill Point. He changed his name recently uh, back to Theme Park Global, so make sure you check him out, his name isn't Thrill Point anymore. So, let's get right into the review on the Smiler. As you may know, this sets the world record for the most inversions. So that's how many times you go upside down. It has 14 inversions, which is quite a lot. Uh, this ride opened in 2013. Um, it has a length of 1,170 meters. It has a drop of 98.4 feet, which is 30 meters exactly and uh, it gets a speed of 52.8 miles per hour now this is made by Gerslauer, I do like some of the Gers Gerslauer coasters uh, but unfortunately some people don't actually like them because some people think they're, they are quite rough um, it is uh, the, uh, the world's first Gerslauer infinity coaster which like I said has 14 inversions which has the most in the world now this has uh, lots of different inversions but doesn't actually have a vertical loop which is a pretty cool fact what I like about this ride is how they fit so many, so many inversions and also with two airtime hills and two lift hills whilst being one of them vertical which you see right now on the video is mental I don't understand how they fit all of that thing in where the the black hole the ride at Orn Towers which was there just before how they fit all the inversions on, I think they had a bit more space as well. But how they fit all that in is absolutely mental, I do not understand. As you may know, back in 2015, this ride did unfortunately have a crash, uh, which is why well, it's got such a bad reputation, as you can see. But I think it is quite a good ride, uh, just because of my experience on it. Overall, I think this ride is very good, being at the number one spot in my Alton Towers uh, coaster rankings. People find it rough, but I don't find it rough at all, actually, from my experiences I've been on it. A little bit rattly sometimes, but still a superb ride. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below if you want to know anything else about the ride. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.